Hello, I'm Sativa Peterson. I'm the News Content Program Manager here at the State of Arizona Research Library, and I manage the newspaper collection that you see behind me. We have the largest newspaper collection in the state of Arizona. It spans from the first paper published in 1859 to the present, as we're still actively collecting papers. We have over 900 Arizona newspaper titles in the collection, and that translates into well over 4 million pages of newspaper. Throughout the collection's history, we collected not just big daily newspapers, but community newspapers, newspapers from towns throughout every county in Arizona, as well as papers that had a particular ethnic, cultural, or political point of view. Really anything that had to do with the culture, history, people, or the environment, physical environment of Arizona. So of course, one of the stories that is contained within these newspapers is the story of women getting the right to vote. As we know, um, the 19th Amendment guaranteeing the right to vote happened in 1920, but here in Arizona in 1912, uh, women were advocating for the right to vote. Editorials started to appear in newspapers as well as some articles. One thing that's interesting, of course, this centennial is very momentous to us, but looking back, uh, the story of women getting the right to vote very often wasn't the headline of, that, of the day's paper. It wasn't you know, appearing in bold right underneath the masthead, but buried within the paper. So I've pulled um, an Arizona Republican from 1912 to show some articles. We have the Arizona Republican from September 28, 1912, and we can see it's page five. And the article is, Lady Suffragists Will Solicit Votes. And it's about a group of women gathering in Mesa to advocate for women's right to vote. So in 1912, uh, women were advocating for the right to vote in Arizona, looking to have an amendment added to the state's constitution. October 7, 1912, page 5, Votes for Women banner spans the street. So it says um, a corner was chosen downtown for large banners to go across the street in Phoenix, again, trying to uh, rally people to vote for women's suffrage. And I, because these articles are a little bit hard to read, we have created an online collection that's available on the Arizona Memory Project. So you can go and see, we've collected about 100 items. It has news articles, editorials both for and against, as well as some political cartoons and pamphlets and some government documents, drawing from the newspaper collection, but also our Arizona collection, law collection, and state and federal documents that are here at the uh, State of Arizona Research Library. That collection is called, They Are Still At It, Women's Suffrage in Arizona. Hi, my name is Paloma Phelps and I'm the Arizona Collection Librarian here at the State of Arizona Research Library. The Arizona Collection is a unique and diverse collection of books, periodicals, microfilm, and vertical files of newspaper clippings and biographical information, all pertaining to the history and culture of Arizona and the Southwest. Within the collection, we have numerous resources on notable women in Arizona. We strive to make many Arizona collection titles available to you in the comfort of your home. We invite you to create a free account on Reading Arizona, our collection of over 700 ebooks and audiobook titles related to Arizona history and themes. Be sure to check out our featured collection, Women of Arizona. You'll find many titles related to notable women in Arizona history, such as Winning Their Place by Heidi Osselier, and Isabella Greenway, An Enterprising Woman by Christy Miller. You'll also find several biographical and autobiographical books on Sandra Day O'Connor. Visit readingarizona.org to create your free account to check out some great titles on notable women in Arizona who made a difference here and in the world.